Welcome to this edition of Heritage Highlights with me, Chris Tracy, Archive Specialist at Norfolk Heritage Centre, located on the second floor of the Norfolk and Norwich Millennium Library. Each week, Heritage Highlights examines key items from the Heritage Centre collections. And today we're focusing on two long form circus bills dating from the mid 19th century, both of which shed light on the remarkable career of a man whose name is known to millions, Pablo Fanca. Immortalised by John Lennon in the lyric to Being for the Benefit of Mr Kite from the Beatles' 1967 Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band LP, Pablo Fanca was the stage name of William Darby, performer, impresario and Britain's first black circus proprietor. Born in Norwich Workhouse in 1810, Darby became apprenticed to circus owner William Batty around about 1820 and, by the mid-1830s, had built a considerable reputation as a performing gymnast in Batty's circus. In 1841, Darby decided to go it alone and set up his own circus, which initially performed mainly in the north of England. However, the winter of 1848-49 saw him return to his native city. Here we can see two long-form circus bills from the Norfolk Heritage Centre collections, both advertising the appearance of Pablo Fanca's Circus Royal at Norwich's Victoria Gardens during that winter season. The two images to the left of the screen are of the same bill, that on the far left showing it in its entirety, the other being only the top half. The image on the far right is similarly only the top half of one of the three other long form circus bills featuring Pablo Fanca in our collection. Measuring approximately 30 inches, 76 centimetres in length, they are magnificent superbly evocative items and crammed, as you can see, with text which rivals the performers it describes in terms of the heights of hyperbole scaled. Confronted by one of these plastered to a wall or the side of a building, who wouldn't want to witness the exploits of Alexina, the heroine of Mongats, or those of the fair dames of Romelia? Here we see a photograph of Norwich Marketplace, taken in 1899, which gives some idea of the way our Pablo Fanca bills would originally have been presented to the public gaze. The bills form part of the Norfolk Heritage Centre's ephemera collection, which incorporates approximately 200 circus bills altogether with their more is more approach to language, design and typography, they transport you to the Victorian era and provide valuable insights into attitudes prevalent at the time. For example, those relating to animal welfare. While the majority of them have not been digitized and can only be viewed on request, those featuring in this episode of Heritage Highlights along with a handful of others, can be viewed online via the website Picture Norfolk. Thank you for watching.